another nursing drug study nga ang alay ko sa inyo for today because we are going to discuss the very most common uh, medication that you will encounter in the ER and that is your HNBB. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niga and I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create a nursing educational content to help nursing students and nursing professionals with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos to do three times in a week. Don't miss that ad. Subscribe now. You hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really happen now that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video, nurses. Hello, nurses. Another nursing drug study nga ang alay ko sa inyo for today because we are going to discuss the very most common uh, medication that you will encounter in the ER and that is your HNBB. Hyoscine butyl bromide nga po ang ating discussion for today. I'm gonna give you a thorough nursing drug study about the indication, contraindications, um, nursing responsibilities, adverse effects, side effects, all of that good stuff in one video. Now, in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, nurses, welcome back to ating discussion ng yung hyoscine and and butyl bromide HNBB nga po. This is another entry natin sa ating nursing pharmacology, nursing drug study. So, kung hindi mo pa na check out yung other discussion natin ng nursing pharma, mga drug study na karinate ko, mga reviewer para sa yo, I'll be putting the description, uh, I'll be putting the videos or the playlist on the description box. So, check that out and some other nursing educational materials para sa yo, okay? So, ito nga ay drug study ng HNBB. Madalas itong ginagamit sa ER at makakatulong ito sa iyo para ma-refresh ka, okay? So, Busco Pan, ang pinaka-famous na madalas natin ginagamit na uh, brand name ng HNBB. Okay. So, ano-ano ba yung mga NX maaari mong asahan sa slide o sa presentation na ito, sa discussion na ito? Una, we're going to have the classification or discuss the classification, generic and brand name, route and dose, mechanism of action, indications, contraindications, adverse effects, and of course, this will not be called nursing drug study kung hindi natin isasama ang nursing responsibilities. Handa ka na, hinga-hinga, eto na. First stop, classification, generic, and brand name, route, and dose of administration. Okay, very straightforward, you guys. Antispasmodic po ang classification ng HNBB. Ano yung generic name mo? Hyoscine and butyl bromide. Mga brand name na available sa market, scopolamine, butyl bromide, butyl scopolamine, bromide, generic. And JP. Okay, in terms of route and dose, meron tayong tablet and meron tayong IV form. So, sa tablet, 10 milligrams adult and sa children, uh, more than 6 years old, 1 to 2 tabs TID, QID. Alright? So, pag ampule naman, ang, ang stock dose mo is 12, uh, 12, 20 milligrams. This is indicated for colic pain. Now, for adult and adolescent, more than 12 years old, 1 to 2 ampule, 1 to 2, tama, 1 to 2 ampules, IV, IM, subcutaneous, several times daily. Maximum dose mo nito is 100 milligrams per day. Now, sa infant naman and young children, 0.3 to 0 0.6 milligrams per kilograms body weight by slow IV, IM, and subcutaneous several times daily. A maximum dose mo nito is 1.5 milligrams per kilograms body weight. Okay? So if you want to study about this or you want to have this as your reference, you might want to have a screenshot. Okay. Mechanism of action na tayo ng ating HNBB. Ito na nga po siya. Okay, the mechanism of action of buscopan is that it blocks the muscarinic receptors found on the smooth muscle walls, which means it blocks the action of acetylcholine on the receptors found within the smooth muscle of the gastrointestinal and urinary tract and thus reduces the spasms and contractions. This relaxes the muscle and thus reduces the pain from the cramps and spasms. Okay, now what are the indications of your HNB? Be yung hyoscine and butyl bromide. 
Okay, indication mo, unang-una na dyan, syempre, spasms in the genito-urinary tract. Spasm in the gastrointestinal tract Spasm in the biliary tract And of course, colic Okay What are the contraindications of um, HNBB? Ito na po siya, you guys Wauna, meron ka dyang myasthenia gravis Hindi mo rin siya dapat ibigay sa mga may mega colon Hypersensitivity to drug contents Narrow angle glaucoma ano pa, prostate hypertrophy with urinary retention and mechanical stenosis in the GI tract and lastly, tachycardic patient. Okay, once again, these are your contraindications in giving HNBB. Okay, what are the adverse effects? Um, the uh, We need to be mindful nurses about these adverse effects because this could be very helpful, you know, Um, in giving, you know, patient health teachings, okay? Warning signs, para sabihin mo sa pasyente mo, oh, kapag naranasan mo ang mga sumusunod, magsabi ka sa akin, o oh, magsabi ka sa doktor, ititigil natin ang pagbibigay ng hyoscine. Okay, so ito na siya, nurses. Constipation, decreased sweating, mouth, skin, eye dryness, blurred feeling, bloating, dysuria, difficulty in urination, Nausea and vomiting, lightheadedness, headache, and lastly, weakness. Once again, these are the adverse effects of HNBB. Oh, malapit na tayo, nurses. Nursing responsibilities na po ito. Handa ka na? Eto na. Okay, now, as a nurse, ang una mong dapat gawin is be alert for adverse reactions and drug interactions, as we discussed on this presentation. Ano pa? Assess for eye pain. Next, assess for urinary hesitancy. I'm sorry, typographical error, dapat may space dyan. <laughs> okay, assess for constipation. Monitor urine output. Encourage patient to void another space. Ano pa? Monitor BP for possible hypertension. For pregnant women, monitor cervical effacement and dilatation. Okay? So once again, nurses, tapos na. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panunood. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo po yung mga next video upload natin regarding sa nursing, um, uh, nursing education. Maraming maraming Marami po akong i-ready sa inyo. At kung hindi nyo pa, again, napapanood yung aking uh, mga uploads regarding sa nursing, mga nursing drug study, and anatomy, medical surgical nursing, nako, ililink ko sila lahat dyan. Panoorin mo, tulungan mo rin ako to spread out, about, to spread the news about my channel. Okay? Positive news naman saan. <laughs> okay? Once again, gusto ko itang pasalamatan. Maraming maraming salamat po. We've been growing and help me out. I hope that This year, I will just put it out there in the universe. We're gonna hit 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Okay, so um, yun lang. Maraming maraming salamat nga po ulit. And help me out spread the news. Ipamalita mo na sa Radyong Sera ang pinakabago, pinakafresh, at ang pinakalibreng review, Nursing Review Center sa Balat ng YouTube. And I'll see you again next time, nurses. You have a good one. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kulta. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlist like radio for you i'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here i created a bunch of stuff a bunch of contents about nursing work study i uploaded parang yesterday or the other day check out my own hat and also my other contents that's all for you let's connect follow me on all my other social media accounts everything is at neil gave except for my tiktok account which is very fresh and very new so please please support my tiktok account i see you guys there it's neil Galve official. All right. I'll see you again next time, nurses. You stay safe.